weather. It's been an interesting day. We've had rain, we've had some sun, and then we're back into some thunderstorms for this afternoon and evening, and it's uh, getting pretty chilly over the coming days. And we might even see some snow around here by Monday morning as another blast of cold air works down from Canada. Let's take a look outside right now in Idaho Falls. We're into the lower 50s. Winds have backed off for just the moment, but we're going to see off and on breezy conditions and those scattered showers continuing here for tonight, especially as you go east of the Snake River Plain into our local mountains. Right now in Pocatello, we're into the upper 40s as we take a live look at the Farm Bureau Sky Cam. We're starting to see some breaks in the clouds, but more showers rotating out of the south right now. And as we go over to Viper, it's been very active and we're continuing to see those showers rotating through the region with a few good thunder cells. We don't have any severe thunderstorms right now, but we have some strong pockets of wet weather across the region. As we take a look at the big map here, you'll notice that the showers have been really hanging out in the eastern and southeastern Idaho there, especially as you go east of town into the Snake River, east of the Snake River Plain, I should say, and up towards western Wyoming. Plus another good patch of wet weather into areas out towards Craters of the Moon and Arco. Not a lot happening, though, as you go north of Mackey into central Idaho. We have been seeing some spotty sprinkles in that direction, but quite a bit of wet weather coming through Preston and Franklin right now with a decent sized thunder cell here moving through Franklin County. We're still getting quite a bit of lightning as this cell is trying to get over the mountains into Bear Lake County, and there is a flash flood watch for areas of southeastern and southern Idaho until 11 o'clock tonight. In the past 24 hours, many of the weather stations around southeastern Idaho have already received over an inch of precip from the rain late last night, overnight, and through today. You're getting some rain, some steady rain right now along Highway 30 from Lava Hot Springs down through Fish Creek and Gem Valley into Soda, and now just starting to get into Georgetown. And more of that wet weather spilling to the north. Steady rain still going through the Palisades around Irwin and Swan Valley, back through Alpine, then further north into Jackson with some light, steady rain shower. And we have a little bit of some snow into the mountains. We're talking pretty high up though in elevation there around the Tetons. Then quite a bit of wet weather moving through Arco area right now around Butte County up towards Howe. Some lightning there moving with that thunderstorm that's been exiting Howe now getting up towards Highway 28 that little southern clip of Lemhi County there. And that's also skirting into Montevue and Mud Lake as we speak and some showers, some steady rain right now all the way up to Mackey along Highway 93. Uh, as we take a look at the big area of low pressure that is now settling into Nevada, that low is going to move off to the east by tomorrow afternoon and we'll see the showers coming to an end. This is round one. I'm calling the next one round two and it's a big punch in the gut. It's a big area of low pressure that's coming down from western Canada and it's going to start pushing in here late Sunday through Monday of next week. Around this, you can guess, very cold air plus moisture along the west coast is going to get wrapped in off that low and we have the potential to see some snowfall in areas of the Snake River Plain yet yeah, in town Monday. We'll talk about that in just a second, but for tonight, those showers still rotating through the region. We're going to see some mountain snow as things cool off tonight, and we could see some good snow in places like Yellowstone National Park, also some spotty snow showers in the mountains of central Idaho. We're going to have a few spotty showers tomorrow morning and through the midday, but as we get into Saturday afternoon, the showers begin to depart, and we'll be left with drying conditions, and we're going to be working in some sunshine for Sunday briefly. And then as we get into Sunday afternoon, round two starts to work down from Canada and this is when we chance to we have the chances to see some snow around the Snake River Plain and that's including Idaho Falls, Blackfoot and Pocatello Monday morning and midday. So we'll see what happens here as that system rolls in from the north and things begin to develop. Highs around 49 tomorrow for Montpelier, 47 in Soda, 45 in Lava tomorrow with highs in Jackson at 47. 49 in Rexburg, 50 in St. Anthony with 59 in Chalice, 52 in Mackey, 52 in Arco with 50 for Idaho Falls and 52 in Blackfoot, 49 for Pocatello. Rexburg, the eight day forecast. Yeah, temperatures into the 40s by Monday. Chance of some snow and rain showers to get us started for the week with overnight lows into the 20s. We'll see similar conditions in Blackfoot with highs into the mid 50s on Sunday, mid to lower 40s for the high on Monday and Tuesday, and it's going to stay into the 40s all throughout next week. Jackson, snow and rain on the move and some rumbles of thunder possible. Work week gets rolling in here for Monday and Tuesday with highs into the mid to upper 40s, overnight lows into the teens and 20s, and a good chance of snow all across the region with rain showers mixed in. Salmon high of 60 for Sunday, 43 on Monday. 
Pocatello, you'll see highs here at 56 for Sunday, a little bit warmer for Sunday, but back down to the 40s for Monday and Tuesday, a high of 43 for Monday afternoon, and then again for Tuesday afternoon with freezing overnight lows into the upper 20s to lower 30s. And Idaho Falls Direct Day forecast 54 for Sunday, but a high of 43 on Monday. Scattered rain and snow showers to get the week started. That continues through Tuesday. Eric. Hey, thanks so much, Michael. Coming up at sports, we are getting 